Hey there guys, hope we are keeping well. Are you new to all grain home brewing? Are you new to kegging your beer? What if I told you there was a proven DIY method to ensure your next brew has much greater hop aroma, enhanced flavor, and looks more like those juicy commercial beers we see? What I'm about to show you in this video will increase the overall quality of your next home brew. So no more bland beers due to a simple, inexpensive DIY method known as the closed loop transfer. One of the most common issues when transferring your beer from a fermenter to a keg, or even bottles, is oxidized beer. Basically, the beer has been exposed to oxygen. The result is bland, murky, cardboard tasting beers with low hop character or significant decline in hop aroma and flavor. Let me show you a way to prevent oxygen from destroying your beer. So during fermentation, your beer is protected from oxygen due to a natural layer of CO2 carbon dioxide, which is a byproduct of fermentation. This basically sits in the headspace above your beer in the fermenter. As soon as you open your fermenter, for whatever reason, you basically displace that protection of CO2 with oxygen, which will ruin your beer. Now, the good news is that this closed loop transfer doesn't require any expensive equipment. And here's what you're gonna need. A fermenter with a spigot, quarter inch tubing to connect a ball lock liquid side disconnect. And you'll also need a gas side disconnect with quarter inch tubing to feed the CO2 from the keg into the airlock hole within the fermenter lid. This then completes your loop as liquid pours into the keg outpost. The CO2 from the keg then fills the headspace in the fermenter. Let me show you how to complete this closed loop process. You wanna make sure all parts have been thoroughly cleaned, including the keg, the transfer lines, and anything else that comes into direct contact with your beer. Typically, I soak everything in a solution of Oxy for about 20 minutes and then give it a good rinse. Inside the keg, make up a one gallon, four liter batch of water to six milliliters of star sand. Close it up and make sure to swoosh it all around, making sure that the liquid inside the keg coats all the surfaces within. Then connect your keg to your CO2 tank and force the sanitizer out through the outpost of the keg and through the transfer lines, in turn then sanitizing those lines. Then disconnect the transfer line and burp the keg. Pressure the keg to five PSI Knock off the gas and then vent it through the lid. Now, because CO2 is heavier than oxygen, it will drop to the base of the keg, pushing out all the oxygen in the headspace, leaving a sanitized keg filled with only CO2. Now sanitize the fermenter spigot and connect your liquid tubing. Then connect the liquid disconnect to the outpost on the keg. Remove the fermenter's airlock and spray the end of the gas tubing with a sanitizer before inserting it into the spigot hole. Then connect the gas disconnect to the in post of your keg, ensuring your fermenter is placed higher than the keg to enable gravity flow. Now open up the fermenter's valve slowly to transfer the beer into your keg. This will displace the CO2 in the headspace and stop oxygen from destroying your fresh, delicious beer. And that's it guys, the closed loop transfer. Now, if this is your first time uh, giving this method a go, please do let me know how you get on. And also if you have been doing this method for, um, for some time, does it work for you? Is there anything you change? Is there anything you let me know? 
comments down below guys as always thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy the content and you get value from the content please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already please smash that subscribe button guys until the next video cheers thank you